statue in Pawtucket is creating tension between the city and the Narragansett Indian tribe. The statue of a 17th century English settler and local historic figure. Now, tribal members say they weren't properly consulted prior to it being put up and are calling the statue insulting. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now from Pawtucket with what both sides are saying tonight. Anita. This is a statue of Reverend William Blackstone, standing tall at the corner of Exchange and Roosevelt Streets. This English settler's history may not be well known to most, but for the Narragansett tribe, this man's past should not be celebrated. They want this statue to be taken down. Without a formal public announcement, this 14-foot statue of Reverend William Blackstone has been put up this week in Pawtucket depicting the English settler riding a bull while reading a book. The Blackstone Valley Tourism Council believes the statue will educate onlookers about the area's history. We really haven't done a great job telling that Native American story, especially for a city named Pawtucket. So here we go. A QR code will direct visitors to a website where more details on Blackstone's story will be told. You don't have to put up a statue for education. You can teach it in your home. At a time when statues of historical figures who played a role in oppressing others are being taken down across the country, members of the Narragansett tribe are questioning why this one was put up. They stole, they enslaved, they owned slaves. Is that somebody you want to honor? It surely isn't somebody we indigenous people will honor. Hiding history and hiding a story is not what we're about. The construction of the statue was put on hold earlier this year after a local historian raised concerns over Blackstone's past. The Tourism Council says the Narragansett tribe was asked to be involved early on, but tribal members say that didn't happen. Do you imagine if I went and I put up a statue of Hitler? Whoa. Now, the statue is technically on private land and was not paid for by the city. But despite little public input, Pawtucket officials used taxpayer money to fix up the surrounding area as an extension of the Blackstone Valley bike path. In Pawtucket, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.